time we worked with the clipboard and I kind of introduced you to the tabs. So now we're going to move on to fonts. Okay, and basically if you look up here you can change your font face and first thing we need to do is actually select our text. Okay, and then we can come up here and we can change our font face and you can see here that it stores your theme fonts along with your recently used fonts at the very top. You can see down here as you go to each font, your text in the background changes, and it kind of gives you an example of how it's going to look. Okay, and we can go down, and you can see all kinds of fonts, all kinds. So there are generally two types of fonts. In this case, you'll see this one, MS Reference Sans Serif. Okay and the other one is a serif font. Here's a sans serif again. The difference between a sans serif font and a serif font is that serif fonts have basically what they call feet. So there's a serif font, uh, a sans serif font. A serif font would be like um, Georgia is my favorite one. So here's Georgia and you can see that Georgia has some feet there let's make this a little bigger so this is how we change the font face and this is how we change the font size so okay you can see along at the bottom of the H here and the bottom and the top of the L it has like feet they call it so that's a serif and like uh, Calibri is a sans serif Again, here's where we change the font size. We can grow the font. We can make the font smaller. We can clear the formatting. We can make it bold, italic, underline. And you can have all different kinds of underlines. Um, we can strike through. This is a subscript. This is superscript. Here, I'll show you what that looks like a little better. So here would be subscript, and this would be superscript. Okay. Sentence case. Text highlight color. So if you want to highlight something. And then, of course, there's also text color. And you can see that we can pick all kinds of colors. And then if we want to see more, we click on this and a dialog box will come up. And then we can space our characters. You'll see how that looks down here. Or you can scale your characters, you can space it, and you can also set that yourself. I'll scroll down here. Okay, I'll just cancel this for now. And that's basically your fonts. Oh, there's all kinds of more stuff here that you can do for with your fonts as well. Okay, so that's fonts, and the next one, the next video will be using paragraphs.